Hello gamers, we got tons of game breaking tricks that will land you thousands of kills. And trust me, when I say game breaking, I mean game breaking. So if this video helped you, please help me by subscribing to my channel and also follow my Twitter and TikTok cause I post tons of content there. Anyways, let's begin the video with the first trick. Starting off simple, we got a nice spawn peek on consulate visa door. Prone next to the double door on visa and shoot out the second bottom plank to the left. While prone, you should be aiming at their head heights when attackers come from spawn. Also, shout out to a gaming gamer for showing me this one. Coming up, we got a crazy spawn peek standing on the window. Break this window next to a small office and barricade the door next to it. Prep the barricade and get on top of the desk. Once you're on the desk, move slowly to the corner until you make a half drop. From here, look straight on the barricade but slide it to the west. Sprint and vault through, and after a vault animation, try to sprint onto the window. Once you're on the window, you have angles to metal gate and on the southeast form. Following with the same barricade technique, did you know you can get on top of the vending machine next to Visa stairs? Prepare the double door barricade and head straight to the chairs. From there, you got two options to get on top. The first one is to simply sprint up the chairs and move back to the edge as soon as you get on top of the chairs. That is because you will minimize the risk of getting rubber banded. For the second option, just put an Azami gate on the pillar and vault on top of the wall. Proceed to the barricade and make a half drop. Vault through the barricade and vault on top of the vending machine. From here, you can either prone on the vending machine for some insane angles or head to the boxes in the corner to play a camp safe hiding spot. If you get spotted from the corner spot, you can rotate back to the vending machine to catch anyone off guard. Moving on, we got a way to get on top of box 2 in Armory Clubhouse. Place on the zombie gate exactly where I show you and then get on top of the smaller box. After that, here comes the tricky part. We need to perform a crouch wall technique, which I will show you how to do. First, sprint towards the zombie barrier you placed. Once you're mid-air, hit the crouch button first and then immediately hit the vault button. Almost as if you're pressing them at the same time. Once you're on top of the box, you'll have three different angles. One in dirt, bottom main, and my personal favorite, all the way into oil pit. Here is what you came for, the insane lamp trick on Outback. Deploy the first Azami Kiba on the desk. This will make placing a deployable shield possible. On this side, deploy the second Kiva barrier on top center of the back chair while having the preview Kiva projectile is facing towards you. Go to the other side and deploy a Kiva barrier as high as you can on the back of the chair while the projectile is facing you again. Place the last Kiva barrier as high as you can before the preview projectile glitches out. Once the placements are finished, head to this table and get on top of this railing. If done correctly, you should get a vault prompt looking towards the shield. Let your teammate pick up the shield and start to vault. Once you're on top of the shield's hitbox, find the next vault prompt to get on top of the lamp. From here, you have multiple angles and you can even sprint across the free lamps to align different positions. Also, here's a small tip to find the deploy prompt for the deployable shield. Look straight north till your crosshair is touching the R to the left in the restaurant. Look to the west until you align yourself to the metal sheet on the drone hole. Lastly, find a specific small dirt mark on the wall and you should have the deploy option. If you do not have it, look around the area and you should have the option then. Shout out to Aussie Otter for showing me this one. I'll link his socials down below in the description. Disclaimer, this trick works only with free speeds, but let's go. First, shoot the stuff off the brown shelf and find your way on top of the shelf. Walk through the center part of the mic stand and prone your way up to the right corner on top of the mic stand. Stand up and look straight at this black line on the floor. Look slightly left while the crosser is still touching the line, as shown in the video. Sprint forward onto the speaker and find the vault prompt. From here, you can get angles from black stairs, north balcony, main stairs, and geisha. 
Let's finish this video off with an old trick that I found long time ago that I now reworked. On Skybridge, break all the stuff except for one PC as shown in video. Vault from behind and get on top of the red box. That will give you the ability to gain more height over the angle to see more of the enemies. Or, if you want to be sneaky and protected, drop down and try to see only the heads of the enemies. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and peace.